Hey what's up guys, Chiggs here from Chiggs Tech Reviews and today I'm going to be looking at the concurrent Wi-Fi repeater router and access point. So, so what this product does is extend the range of your Wi-Fi so if you're getting a weak signal in your house and on the third floor right at the top you're maybe not getting a good connection it, you can set this up, plug it in and this can help extend your Wi-Fi range. You can also set it up as an access point um, or even its own individual router. It's a multifunction device. Um, if I just show you quickly, it says dual band Wi Fi up to 750 megabytes per second. Okay, it supports the 802.11ac, which is the next generation of Wi Fi, and it's dual band, so it supports 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Alright, which is brilliant. See, it says wireless AC dual band. Here's a, here's a setup demo just to give you an example. So you can provide a wired connection along with Wi-Fi signals to all your other device. So that's what you can do with this um, router. It's got you got quick installation here. So I'll be I'll be going through this setup stage um, to show you how it's done. Um, it's fairly simple to get up and running but first of all let's see what's in the box okay so here you have it you've got two antennas and a UK adapter which is good good so when you plug that in you have to twist that so it gets pushed upwards that is it basically so what have we got here we've got the WPS button there a reset hole so you've got two Ethernet ports one would be connected directly to your router and the other spare port can be used to connect to a wired device such as a smart TV, games console or any other device that you usually connect via Ethernet so that's why it's got two ports alright so what else is in the box and you got a LAN cable and instructions okay instructions in English which is always a good thing alright I'm gonna hook all this up and uh, show you the setup stage on how to get this up and running so basically the wireless AP mode converts your wired connection into wireless so the wireless repeater mode what that does is if you've got a big house or a large office and there's a certain areas you're getting a weak Wi-Fi signal so you would put it into this mode you don't change any of the existing router settings that you have on your existing router you just plug this in and you choose this mode and uh, it will work and it will be called the same SSID it would just look like you've amplified your um, Wi-Fi signal okay and the router mode is if I read their description the router is connected to a DSL or cable modem and works as a regular wireless router so this mode is fit for the environment which which internet access from DSL or cable modem is available for one user but more users need to share the internet so I'm going to show you how to set up each of these modes okay we're going to begin setup yeah so I've got my extension lead because my sockets are at the back of the telly um, this is the cable that comes directly out of my existing broadband router my router is behind the telly again so I'm just going to leave that there so this cable comes out of my router directly plugged into port 1 okay so first of all to set this up you've got two ways of doing it you plug this in okay so once you plug this in you need to connect to this via the internet browser now you can either do it by connecting this cable directly to your laptop or you're going to do it the way I'm going to do it and that's going to be via Wi-Fi I'm going to connect to this router via Wi-Fi and uh, I will do all the settings and stuff then so I'm gonna plug this in 
I'm going to plug this in to WAN, which is the wireless LAN port. So I'm going to set up this mode first, the wireless AP mode. So I'm going to convert this, which is a wired connection, into a, a wi wireless connection. So we're going for wireless AP mode first. So first of all, you just plug that into WAN port. Yeah, so the next steps will be on the computer. Okay, so you've got your router plugged in and you've connected your Ethernet wire into the WAN port like I showed you earlier. So now what you do is you click on Wi-Fi, look for your router, it should be called Wireless AC or Wireless N. And they both can have no security, so you should just be able to connect to them. So click on either one to connect. I'm going to choose the N. So I'm going to connect to this wireless N 2.4G. Okay, so I'm connected to my router. All right, so now you visit this web address. All right, and this will allow you to directly connect to your router. And just type in admin, admin, twice and log in. So here you go, you've got the three options, access point, repeater or gateway. Gateway they mean router. So we are going to do an access point which means converting a wired connection into a wireless connection. So click on access point. So if you click on that, now you can type in any SSD you like. So I'll just do I'll call it this. So you got the N connection, which is the faster connection for um, those devices that can handle it. So keep the N there so you know which connection your device is connected to. Um, encryption, the last one there. And choose and choose your password. change settings successfully it's just going to reboot this router here so let this complete its task now as you can see click on on the username you just made to connect okay so I'm connected alright so that worked I'm connected to the internet if I just open a website there you go I'm connected so I've just set up so I've just set up my AP connection I, I converted my wired connection into a wireless connection and you can see I've got full bars I've named it my own SSD and that's how you do it okay so I've just set up an AP router um, as, you, as you guys just saw um, this is now set up and it's saved um, I can unplug this and I can put it anywhere in this room as long as this blue Ethernet cable which comes directly from my um, router main router for my broadband connection as long as it's plugged in you will have the net if you take this out you will lose the connection now say you wanted to change the mode and you wanted to try something different or you needed a repeater then what you need to do is you need to put a pin in in the reset so if I just turn this off for a sec just to show you so you see the reset button there, there's a pin, so you put the put the pin in for about 10 seconds, you'll be able to reset it and all the settings will go back to default and the instructions are very very good so if you just do exactly what I did um, to get to connect to the router you can go into the admin settings and you can set it up as a repeater or as a router. So that was it really, so that's the concurrent AC750M Wi-Fi repeater router and AP. Yeah, so this uh, mini router is a very good build quality. Um, it's it's very firm, UK plug. It's a UK plug. It's a very good build quality, um, as you can see. Um, I like the antennas. I like that it's got two antennas, um, and I like how it supports wireless N and the latest wireless AC. Um, so it's got dual band Wi-Fi and the speeds can go up to 750 megabytes per second which is more than sufficient for any user um, yeah so that was my product review and setup of the concurrent AC750M so if you're interested in this product and you want more information on where to buy it I'll put the links in the description um, yeah do check it out 
I hope I've helped someone out there. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Thank you for all your support and thank you so much for watching.